This morning while out to eat, my roommate asked me a few questions about my pregame routine and how I think meditation has helped me so far. So when you meditate, you, your mind actually goes blank or like you think about breathing. No, um, thoughts fucking go through my mind all the time. Um, but what I try to do is as thoughts go through your mind, I try not to grab onto any of them. Um, a thought passes through your mind, and then you grab onto it, and then it leads you to another thought, and then it leads you to another thought, and you just go deeper and deeper into like that door you just opened up. You know what I'm talking about? What I try to do is like notice, right? Thoughts are going, thoughts are going, thoughts are going, and I'm just letting them go. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to really do anything. I'll be like, damn, bro, like this shit not working. Yeah, no, no, no. That's not it at all, dude. Like, people can train themselves to work their way into a flow state whenever they want. You know what I mean? That's the only reason why I think meditation works. Because, like, it trains you on how to control your mind versus letting your mind control you. Knowing how to turn off your brain when you want to relax and how to ignite it when you want to think. Does that make sense at all? Yeah. I swear. I swear. Alright. It makes sense, bro. I'll be, I'll be looking, but i really be no. listening because it's cool because that I'll be asking stuff like this because I can't talk to everybody like this. Like, people, like, when you start talking about, like, meditating and healthy, positive thoughts, people would be like, bro, like, what you on type? Think you're crazy. So you can't just talk like that to everybody. Yeah, no, I know exactly. So I'll really be listening because I know you really be doing this type of shit. Yeah, no, 100%. That was, it took so long for me to, like, feel comfortable talking to other people about this stuff. Like, I was feeling this way when I was in, like, middle school, bro. Or having thoughts of, like, why can't I fucking control the way I'm thinking, the way I'm feeling? And, like, to be that young, thinking about that stuff, like, you almost felt like the fucking oddball. No, <laughs> like, niggas look at you like, shut up, you goofy ass. <laughs> but now it's like, I wish I would have, like, embraced that from a younger age, because, like, the more I just, like, accept who I am and, like, not feel weird about walking around with the camera and, like, being, like, myself, like, the more genuine conversations I have with people because people are like, oh, yeah, I fuck with that. Like, you're being yourself. And then it, like, other people feel comfortable to be themselves. It's, it's weird, bro. Life is weird, bro. Life is weird, for sure. You're the first person I met that's openly, like... Gay. To learn. No, <laughs> no. Like, <laughs> like, that's like interested in learning like about themselves. And, like, I don't know how to say it. Like, no, 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 no I know you say it. Like with all the meditating and shit, like people just I don't know, just people where I'm from don't be on that at all. Like, same. Like you can't be on that because you don't be the all by out Yeah, for sure. same, same. <laughs> you want to try it? Meditation. Yeah. So after our conversation today, I took Rob step by step through my pregame routine. If I'm honest, I think we were both a little bit uncomfortable because I think talking about your goals and, and the things that you want for yourself comes with a certain level of vulnerability. This is a place with no shame. This is a mind with no frame. This is the life with no doubt. This is the truth with no and now, uh, you read it out loud, and, uh, yeah, you gotta start, like, being comfortable, like, vocalizing it. That's, like, probably the most uncomfortable part about it, hey? Thanks. Yeah, I know. I struggle with this. Um, yeah. It's, it's weird how, like, it's hard to, like, say, like, good things about yourself. Right. <laughs> For real. You are. We're gonna read them at the same time or one at a time? One at a time. Today is our second preseason game. I am full of energy, my mind is free, I am in a flow state, I am trusting my game and my shot, I am in attack mode, I am vocal on both ends of the court, um, I am playing with extreme confidence and instinctively making plays and scoring the ball at will, I am playing great man to man and team defense, I am playing my game and not worried what anybody thinks of me, I am in total control.
Gigi made this one. If I ain't a young shiner, then what do you call that? Fucking niggas hoes, he mad, texting in all caps. Be broad day, lay a nigga down, wave cap. Overkill drill, spin at the building to wake at. I'll be on what I'm on if I ain't rapping. There really was no structure till the members came back. Nigga shook, family know we ain't playing no more. Real trapper hit my dope like my hand was broke. He on Insta with all the smoke, but Kyle saying he don't. Get you pistol with for some petty shit, your head be strong. Yeah, I heard your man's up. 600 and 100, she there nigga stand up, run around like a tough Gucci night boy, where the cold bitches looking for the hot boys, 50 in the glizzy, I run my city, I ain't stopping shit, catch me if you can, just this month, 60 G's on pants, I'm not, I'm not fucking no fan, ran around with the top down, 60 fat grams, 10 up with his top sack, I'm lying, I done made a cover in the year without trying, a 60 day stretch without dying. Y'all got all that gangsta shit down except slide. You ain't grand three days straight without hand. Gave bands 25, we ain't taking no time. Hey, throw it off the glass, I'm a dunk. Y'all niggas apes, I'm mad. Killer monks, don't step back. White bucks, no ID splang. Posted in the hood, all 10 of my chain. Big 30 on me, off a eight of that drink. Bitch, that she in love with who? 10 on the ground, by the dub in the roof. I'm a thug with a two. Motor call my phone when that little can get the uh, I feel like the game went well today. Um, definitely have some work to do as a team in terms of like just learning how to play off of each other a little bit better. Um, but I'm definitely settling into a role on this team that I'm happy with. Um, in order for me to continue to play at a high level, I think that my commitment to my routine um, and being disciplined in that area is like super crucial. Um, when you're playing overseas, you don't really have a support system like that. So you have to be really mindful of, uh, of the things that give you energy and what drains you of your energy. So um, yeah, so I think for me, big thing is just staying disciplined, staying committed to what works for me and um, just taking it one day at a time for real. So, yeah, see you next time. At this point, I don't know how many days I've been here, but it's been too damn long for this to be my first off day. My knees hurt, my back hurts, and I'm just tired. So today we're gonna head to the spa, let our bodies relax a little bit, because these two days are no joke. Uh, from Mokri. Yeah, we are from Mokri, you know? Uh, the town with the lake, the famous lake. Yeah, I go swimming there? Yeah. I can't swim, man. You can? Who gonna save me? <laughs> <laughs> Who gonna save me? Let's hope it's shallow. Uh, I know how to tell you, bro. Shorts? Uh, I just got no shorts. I ain't bring no extra, though. You gonna get wet in these? Yeah. That's how I know you a nigga. Go to that side. Nah, go stay right there. Stay right there. Dog. I'm a little bit of How you feeling? Fuck you. <laughs> You're gonna die. But if I die, I die with you. <laughs> As much as my body needed a break from all the wear and tear from training, I didn't realize how much I needed to step away from the game mentally. <laughs> Go on, jump in, big dog. For the longest time, I was under the impression that asking for a day off was weak. So I would overwork and overtrain, almost out of a state of paranoia. But the more comfortable I became with myself, the more I realized that breaks are healthy. A day or two to rest and reset is crucial for the longevity of what I'm trying to accomplish because it allows me to come back with more to give. <laughs> 